Gentlemen, this is your boy GC. I hope you had a great day. My day was great. And today we're gonna to talk about how attract massive women. Massive. I'm talking about massive. Get massive attraction. Let's go. Short, if you don't know me, I'm GC. I was insecure with women. I'm st I still am a little, but yeah, I noticed through development of confidence, I, with women, I made big steps with getting myself independent, getting my company up and running, getting a lot of experience with women I never dream of. I was 25 and I was still a virgin. So I know a lot about before and I know a lot about when I made this change, personal development and stuff, five year time and becoming even a gigolo and multiple, I don't know, you don't wanna know, you don't wanna know. <laughs> so it changed a lot and I'm happy to share. Everything's free. I don't do this for a living. I do this really for just sharing truth because I know if I was young and I would find a guy like me and he would just talk about this stuff. And of course I had to believe him, he has to be, you know, all this kind of stuff. But I'm here for that guy, for that, for that, for you guys, you know, for you guys, men who are in relationships with women or they aren't and they, they are just getting, you know, being insecure getting to have to pay a lot of money. I don't know, you know, they feel bad. They don't feel at their place. They feel like their manlyhood is being taken away. And you know, all kinds of bad things. You want to find your rhythm, I'm going to help you guys uh, how, to, how to manage it or how to attract women and get them. So let's go from here. So women, attracting women, a lot of things on the internet, I'm not going to even, don't adapt to their game. So that's the lesson one. Don't adapt to them game. They have them game. Uh, and they, they, want, they want you to chase them. So they prepare and you just waste a lot of energy, a lot of money, and they know exactly where to run. So don't go, you wanna go getting them in your game. Yeah, and I mean, really, like your game is like um, not getting, losing your focus on them, like what are they doing, how could I? No, uh, how could I like make her do this or do that? Of course, when you have, when you have, when you are already caught her, but if you want to catch them, it's far better that you first pull them, attract them along the day. day. Use a trap and then uh, get, get, get the catch. So how to attract them? Attracting women in general, just become, coming to the point, you, you just have to be great. And a lot of people just mis or misunderstand. They might think it's about football playing. It's about, of course, of course, these guys. But doesn't mean doesn't mean that they can manage women because you can attract them. But at the point comes that you have to manage them or you have to convert them in relationships, in sex, and whatever. They can still manipulate your ass. Even those baseball players or whatever, football, soccer players, doesn't mean they got this confidence with women because they can attract them but they don't know how to manage them. And still they will be off with one girl wasting a lot of money. Okay, maybe it's a, it's a pretty girl, but you know, pretty girls, they come even harder in the game. Do you think they just get home and start pulling your dick and let me suck your dick? Nah, nah. they just wanna be looking good. People have to wave at them and they wanna be, you know, they want attraction, it's all about attraction. So it, they want all this attention. So you have to, you, if you want to be able to manage this woman, you have to be capable of a lot more than just attracting them. But I'm going to help you now because attraction is just one part. There are multiple ways you want to, to help you getting attraction. You want to be great. And the point is being great is don't misunderstand is that you have to become great in their minds. So it's a real small world. Their mind isn't that big. A lot of people think oh, it's their minds, it's the opinions of their friends, girlfriends. So you have to become great in their world. Sometimes it's a bit difficult, you know, girlfriends, they all have opinions and stuff, but you have to be great at them and simple. But I'm gonna simplify it for you guys. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna give you some examples so you will understand what I'm talking about. And you will see that I've done it all by experience. I've tried them all and you can do the same and you can see what works best for you. And even maybe there are other things you're great at or you wanna be great at, you wanna teach yourself. So let's go. So it's just about attraction. And attraction is, first of all, you have to be seen. Yeah, although if you might go outside, you go to the club, and you might have the idea of school, that women aren't noticing you. They did notice you, but they don't want to give you the, the, the feeling or the information that they are watching you. 
So they're really carefully, they're really good at it. So you wanna be the first one that they can um, avoid it anymore. One of them is fame. Women are attracted to fame. If you somehow know to be uh, famous, you got them. But it's not only the famous, it's, it's also about the ambition of becoming famous. Guys, it's just the word fame. So even if you would say, um, I'm trying to, oh, I'm working on a YouTube channel, and you got five subscribers, seriously, you got, you got a discussion, you got a conversation going, it's just the conversation. If you have the capability of talking with this word for woman about fame, even if you aren't famous, you are scoring points. You are scoring points. They are thinking like, what if he gets famous? Maybe, women are, this woman, this is how women are, this is how women are. They like the idea, it's just the idea. So don't make it too serious. You, it's just you showing balls, you being on the internet, or you trying something, you got three subscribers, you making a difference with the rest, not doing like everybody else, going to school, getting a job. You make a kind of, some kind of difference, and suddenly you're like interested. Women are interested in fame. It's not about what men are interested in. If you go like soccer, you talk about soccer, they are not interested. They're interested if you got a lot of money, but if they don't like the sport. So it's about what they like. And what they like, the fame. So that's, the, that's number one, keep it in mind, keep it simple. Second one women attracted to, or what really attracts women, is emotion. And you might think, well, emotion what? It's about emotion, it's about if you would sing a song, if you would try to sing songs, if you would be playing a guitar or you're playing the flute. But it's again about not being scared to express your feelings. That's the whole idea. It doesn't have to sound good. It's about you doing it passionately like, oh my baby, Ooh. Make it look good, make it look real. And people might say it sounds awful, but it's about you getting the guts, getting the balls to show it publicly. People like say, get this guy out of here. And she's like, oh, I like him because she's with you. And you know, she's like, he's taking these risks for me. He's not scared and they fall in love with you. This is attraction, they're attracted to it. So you will start attracting them, right? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? If you don't know, like, okay, let's say you are in, um, you are somewhere in a restaurant. You want to start attracting women, seriously. If you thought like by walking and getting your fancy clothes and your, your expensive car, you might attract women, I guess seriously, you're just pushing them away. They will only get, up, get themselves in a position to play even harder game. They're just preparing to get the most out of it because they think this is a big catch and I'm gonna prepare for the big game. If you wanna catch women, you don't wanna go dressed like I'm today. You wanna go casual. You wanna go white white t-shirt, white sneakers, jeans. You wanna be like normal, average, doing great stuff. That's the whole trick. Then you will start suddenly like, you will start the bar like, oh baby, ooh. And you turn around, you watch her, look at her eyes. Oh my God, he's looking at me. And you're totally not famous. It's just about you showing balls, you trying to get the emotion in going. You getting flowers, giving them and getting on your knees, making it something special, you know, putting in your feelings. If you buy a car, if you dress up great, you are just protecting your feelings. Get the point, it's not working. It is not working totally. I don't, I don't understand why guys think that it works because it just wastes a lot of money. They're just wasting a lot of money. Number three, number three, women else like as well is if you are capable somehow to put up a show. And what I mean with put up a show is like you could become funny. It does, you know, it's also related to emotions, but it's not that romantical, um, personal. It could be with everybody else. So if you are with friends, and she's watching, you wanna make impression. If you are with your friends making all kinds of a show, sure, I'm like, oh, this guy is funny, or somehow he attracts, you know, people to watch, watch him, and they will watch you too, because it's just where people watch, others follow. 
It's just this social, massive social thing that if something is happening and people just watch, but you can't even see what it is, you will just watch in that direction because you see other people watch. So it's about you getting some kind of pull, even with guys. So even if you used to talk about monkeys, like, oh my God, this monkey, that's this monkey just fucking around. And there's another monkey and these guys are, oh, give me another beer. And then it'll be funny. And this girl suddenly watching like, what are you doing? And that's when you got attraction. That's the whole deal. And you start her, you start pulling her in the story like, yeah, and the monkey saw just a beautiful lady, like, yeah, like this, like this girl, you know, talking, you gotta get over here, and she's like cooperating and stuff. Seriously, that's how it goes. That's how I picked a woman. It's, it's so, you know, it's hard to, to put it on the camera because it's, you have to stage it because it's so real, you know, it, women just like, why is there a camera? Then it's off, but when it's real, it's real simple. So, number four, four is also emotion, and women are, emotion really it's 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 humor it's making them laugh it's, it's if you can make women laugh if you really if you can make women laugh to, to the teeth to the, to the point like oh I, I, my stomach hurts <laughs> you're in it's it's you're in you don't have to save millions you don't have to buy a house they will invite you you can fuck at their place the moment you can make women laugh to the to the to the core you you're in i'm not totally in of course, they are gonna do the social check. They're gonna, you know, they're gonna see your, your your hygiene, how you know that you're a proper guy and stuff, your age. You're gonna do checks. But if you can make them laugh, looks good. Then the real, and I'm talking about real making them laugh. And the last one, if you somehow can make them feel special, and there are a lot of different ways how to make women feel special, you're in as well. And I'm gonna tell you a trick. I was, at a certain point, I'm a coach. I, I was a coach, I was a coach for men, and now I'm just making these movies online because what I know is that if you can use the coaching, what I did, a woman, you get into their minds and you help them to become happy, you know? Seriously, guys, when I was coaching women, and you, or you tell them a coaching woman, they were interested, they were interested, like, oh, fascinating. What do you talk about? And when they start trusting in you, they might ask, like, what would you do if and then you begin to coach them? Not for money, you just begin to advise them. And you don't want to get friend zone because you just want to keep the, but friend zone, come on. How, is it, how can you be friend zone if you got problems getting your dick behind your, in your pants. I know it's impossible. I mean, the guys who become friend zone just are too easy on their dick. They just don't follow what their dick wants and they just listen to them like, be silent and he's like, yes. If, if you got a dick and he's not listening, you know, it's no problem. You will, you will, you will, <laughs> you will do whatever you want. So at a certain point, you got to, you're gonna make them feel good. They're gonna be emotional, they're gonna, tell problems from the youth or with their sister, younger sisters or they might feel insecure about something and you start to nourish them or make them feel good again. And that's when the magic happens, you know, when you get this physical contact and yeah, I mean, that's from there on, it's, it's, it's like, it's a really catching, you know, it's like passing the ball and you're just shooting the ball in. There's nobody defending the goal. It's it's so simple. So that was the, there were the five lines for me. And that's it. That's the video for today. I hope to see you guys next video, next episode. Have a great one.